Hello everybody, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, dudes, do this. Sergey Baklakov and you're watching Baklakov Live. Here I'm bringing the live streams to the whole new level. You hear me or not? I told you, I'm bringing the live streams to the whole new level. So is now uh, streaming in Full HD with a wide angle lens available on my camera. It happens because, you know, I just started a new channel and uh, the standard function for the live streams from just the official YouTube application is unavailable. Yeah, I, I can stream now from just the uh, official YouTube application, but I can stream with the third party applications like I use Prism Live Studio and it is supports Full HD, which is uh, 1080p compared to 720p maximum on uh, just the YouTube application. And here is also the support of wide angle lens. On my iPhone 11, I have wide angle lens. And uh, so it's available here. Uh, Prism Live Studio never cut it. Okay, 19th of March, 2021, local time 5.32 p.m. And I'm here in St. Petersburg. This is uh, Moskovsky Prospect, what means like Moscow's Avenue. I'm staying next to um, uh, Moscow Gates, Moskovsky Varota. Moskovsky Varota. Moscow Triumphal Gates. It is dedicated to the victory in a Russian Turkish war in 1820 and uh, they were constructed in uh, 1830s and uh, look back then back then almost 200 years ago this was the border of uh, saint petersburg it was literally the gates the gates on the way to saint petersburg from moscow actually almost almost the city center Today, inviting you for a walking tour to explore. We will exploring Moskovsky Prospect, Moscow's Avenue. It is called so at least for like uh, two reasons. The first reason that uh, Moskovsky Prospect then turns into uh, Moskovsky Highway, and this is a highway that leads to Moscow. And uh, also here, you know, Moskovsky Prospect projected the way the uh, Moscow districts were projected in 1950s, 1950s, so-called Stalinist neoclassical, monumental neoclassical architecture, Stalinist empire. So here today we are going to feel the Stalinist vibes in St. Petersburg. Are you ready for a Stalinist vibes in St. Petersburg? I do. Let's get it started. Starting from here, from Moscow Triumphal Gates. The beginning of rush hour. Here is the entrance to Moskovsky Varota, Moscow Gates Metro Station. I'm now walking from the north to the south. I'm almost at the historical city center and uh, I'm going to the outskirts of the city in direction of Pulkovo Airport. In 
it's a rush hour now people are getting back home from work and it will be like this until like 7 30 for another two hours but actually here in st petersburg almost never just like a real gems you drive slowly but you drive It's never so that you're just stuck. Almost never so. Especially when it's a good when it's a good weather. And where is no any uh, car accidents which are blocking a big part of, of the road. I now will walk all the way to the monument to the heroes of Leningrad in the days of the siege of Leningrad. So now deeper, deeper to Moskovsky Prospect we will go, more Stalinist it will be. Like here you see still, we can see enough of uh, pre-revolutionary buildings but deeper we will go more 1950 Stalinist architecture it will be here The gallery of design in this seems like 1920s constructivism building. Uh, let me tell you that actually this live stream is the continue of the whole set of uh, my live streams this week on a new channel, this channel, in the most significant places of St. Petersburg, starting from Nevsky then Vasilevsky Island today in the morning it was also Petrogradsky and now Moskovsky Moskovsky Prospect is actually typical Soviet Avenue. Here is the road, the car road, where in the middle there, there are tram lines. The tram railways. It's colder than usual today, minus 5 degrees Celsius, which is about 23 Fahrenheit. But in right. Look at that blue sky. This is amazing. The theater of fairy tale. Theater Skaski.
there's the sun you see the sun behind the clouds not a frequent guest in St. Petersburg the sun is Hi son, it's been a while. If you remember yesterday there was a snowfall in St. Petersburg but everything already melted Okay, so starting from here, now already goes the constructivism, 1920s, 1930s constructivism. Check it out. That is the constructivism. A brutal kind of architecture. It's a brutal look and it's a functionalism. Like, everything must be functional. Not a single square meter without the function. This is the house of culture named after Vladimir Lenin. Now here is the local court. The local court of uh, Moskovsky district of St. Petersburg. constructivism the Soviet Union 1920s another example of uh, constructivism there it's culture and leisure center which is called Moskovsky I enjoy the doors like this look I always enjoy the doors like this it's the original Soviet doors tall wooden heavy constructivism Еще 
they are jay walking look at them there we go and now that you can see how is the russian economy economy works Russian economy works live on Bakarkov Live. Nice spot. That's one of the offices of uh, Gazprom, Gazprom company. Russian energy giant. It's a Volkswagen dealership. Now this is an area and a metro station here which is called Electrosila, what means electro power. It's named after one of the biggest and oldest factories for electric machines. Not the electric cars, but electric power machines. Founded yet in 1898. So it's like more than 120 years ago. Also was known as uh, the uh, factory of Siemens and Galske. The mall called Electra with M Video, Kids World, and McDonald's. Well, M Video is one of the biggest chain of electronic stores kids world is the biggest chain of uh, toy stores and uh, mcdonald's you know american fast food in russia and the factory is still there you see it's written silavia machine power machines Some of the new residential complexes.
station. That's a huge, that's a huge steak bar. Really huge. Now here is where is, uh, the real Stalinist part begins. The metro station, the entrance to metro station, which is called Electrosila as well. Electro power. Okay, now this is a monumental neoclassical architecture of a Stalinist era. What is really great there what is really great here is that since 1950 it's changed except the cars and the, let's say billboards but the buildings the trees the road it's all still the same so here you can get the real 1950s vibe And I hope you enjoy getting it now. Just in a month from now, I believe all these trees will be so green and full of leaves.
Tarkovsky. So are you feeling the Stalinist vibes? I need to know. Okay, good, good. Yes, 100%. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted. With my live streams, depends on what I film. I also wanna, uh, I wanna give you a certain feel. This is the university, St. Petersburg University for an emergency situation service. Meanwhile, it's 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. in St. Petersburg, 19th of March. You're watching Baklikov Live. Thank you for joining. I see you guys keep joining. Today, exploring and making a walking tour here at uh, Moskovsky District, Moskovsky Prospect, what means Moscow's Avenue in St. Petersburg. This is an avenue which uh, leads to Moskovsky Highway and uh, that highway will bring you to Moscow so yes this is literally the direction of Moscow from here and uh, now I'm in a part of Moskovsky Prospect Moscow's Avenue which is known for its 1950s architecture 1950s feel of a so-called monumental Stalinist architecture uh, what is great here that except the cars, I mean the car brands, here nothing really changed since 1950s. Yeah, only the cars and sometimes like a modern bill, billboards with an advertisement. But besides that, everything is the same. So you can watch the photographs of 1950s, 1960s, it's all the same. 
So if now you want to keep getting the uh, vibes of uh, Stalinist era, stay tuned. We are now going in direction of uh, Victory Park. The Victory Park, which is dedicated to the victory in the Second World War, a huge park there. And uh, you see that residential building with a tower, that's where lived Viktor Tsui, an absolute legend, rock legend of the end of 1980s. Uh, here was nobody more popular in rock music than Kino bands and Viktor Tsui. So he spent his childhood there and he was raised on the uh, monumental Stalinist architecture vibes. The monumental architecture with a powerful look. the Soviet Union the Soviet Union a complete Soviet Union feel Moskovsky Prospect, St. Petersburg, on Baklikov Live.
sell these districts designs with the same projects architectural projects of uh, city planning district planning as in Moscow Moscow districts of those days These residential buildings are still considered as a pretty good one and have a huge value on real estate markets because they are they look nice from outside, such a monumental look with all the fretwork, columns, and uh, the apartments. The apartments they are still considered as uh, the great ones, thick walls high ceilings and nice rooms one of the yards and look uh, usually all these stalinist residential buildings are in a good parts in a good parts of the city Staying at the central avenues of the cities. In many cases, in many cases, it is now uh, more expensive in a Stalinist building than in a brand new building. So Victory Park It's huge. If you will look at the map you will see it's huge. Chernyshevsky, the monument to Chernyshevsky, the philosopher, he was questioning who is guilt and what to do. The Hotel Russia, Russia.
So today getting vibes of 1950s and early Soviet Union years and early Soviet Union era. Парк Победы, Виктори Парк, Метро Стейшн. One of the branches of Russian National Library. Now here in front of us. And now this is the residential building which is just known as the residential building with a tower and that's where lived Viktor Tsoi in the years of his childhood Tsoi is alive Tsoi is alive you hear me? So is Riff. So is Riff. Мы хотим видеть дальше, чем окна дома напротив. Мы хотим жить, мы живучи как кошки. И вот мы пришли заявить о своих правах. Да, слышишь шелест плащей? Это мы. Дальше действовать будем мы. Ту -ту 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 -ту. Дальше действовать будем мы. Они говорят, им нельзя рисковать, потому что у них есть дом, в доме горит свет. И я не знаю точно, кто из нас прав, меня ждет на улице дождь, их ждет дома обед. Закрой за мной дверь, я ухожу, 
Закрой за мной дверь, я ухожу. Сой Ливс. Окей, keep joining to this live stream. This is Baklakov Live. In case if today you wanna get a uh, Stalinist era vibes here in Saint Petersburg, Moskovsky, Moskovsky Prospect. Cafe number one, coffee shop number one. Now we are going in direction of the house of the Soviets. You know, I, I love both as uh, just a classic architecture of an old St. Petersburg, like 19th century. But in the same time, I also love this architecture, this monumental architecture. It's a Soviet boy talking inside of me because I'm literally the Soviet boy. I was born in uh, nine of my life. I literally lived in the Soviet Union.
Yes, I was lucky to live in the Soviet Union. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power of this monumental architecture? Well, I can feel this. I can feel the power. Well, if I had a lot of money, if I would have a lot of money, I would love to have an apartment and, uh, in, uh, and on Moskovsky. In one of these residential buildings. That would be really cool. Московский проспект 179 yeah, right here. Hitch. It's an awesome meat restaurant with a huge panoramic windows.
Now, suddenly, suddenly, here is a very new residential complex. But I would have preferred to buy an apartment in the Stalin's residential building from 1950s than here. Because these residential buildings are new. They don't have a flavor yet. They don't have a flavor. That amazing flavor, this 1950s monumental neo-classicism buildings has. And right away, here is the advertisement. Okay, residential complex, Graf Orlov, Duke Orlov. Okay. 50 meters to the right. So if you want to buy an apartment here in this new residential complex on Moskovsky, call 305-3355. The city code of St. Petersburg, 812, and uh, the code of, the, of, of Russia, plus 7, country codes, plus 7. <laughs> what a frame. Okay, now on a stride, on a final stretch to the house of the Soviets. the house of the Soviets, I go right there.
it's an apogee of uh, a uh, rush hour in St. Petersburg around 7 o'clock I need to get to the other side of the street now You guys watching Baklakov live, thank you that you're staying with me and I hope you're getting an interesting for you vibes. Seven seconds to go. Okay. And look, that's Moskovska, the entrance to Moskovska metro station, the blue line of St. Petersburg metro. And here is also the place where the bus number 39 uh, beginning its route and goes directly to Pulkova International Airport. It's the cheapest way to get to Pulkova Airport, like less than a dollar. It's the Eastern underpass and the same time the entrance to the metro station.
Here we go. The house of the Soviets, St. Petersburg. Some reconstructions here. This is an administrative building. The house of the Soviets. It's like for it was projected for different events of the Soviet party. The statue of Vladimir Lenin, the founder of USSR. There we go. Look, he points right on me. Okay, Lenin. Bye, see you.
Okay, this was the house of the Soviets and time to move forwards. Time to move forward to a great monument. The monument to the defenders, to the heroes and defenders of Leningrad in the days of the siege of Leningrad. I'm sorry if the video is glitching, if for some of you the video is glitching, but I can do nothing about it. I mean, I just normally stream the way I stream always. Here is actually no, no, no even any buttons or settings I can push. All I can do now is actually like uh, to control my camera. To lay the graphics and to finish and uh, to finish the live stream When you're coming from Polkova airport on a bus, you're coming here, bus 39. And then you can go to Metro and to keep going with Metro. But you better just order a taxi. Normally the taxi from Polkova airport to the historic city center will be just nine, 10 bucks. And uh, one more. However, if you still will want to go on a bus, here is one more thing for you to know that uh, right in front of the uh, bus stop there's McDonald's, standalone McDonald's. So you can grab a fast food, some fast food there. only 10 minutes to the beginning of the sunset gold a lot of gold
I almost at the finish point of this live stream, but we still can enjoy the 1950s architecture, the monumental neoclassicism architecture, also known as Stalinist Empire. Was UAZ. The Soviet Jeep. Now this is the very end of Moskovsky Prospect. That's the place where actually it is split to uh, Moskovsky Highway. Moskovsky Highway, which is literally led to uh, Moscow. Yes, to Moscow.
Okay, the monuments to the heroes of Leningrad, the defenders of the city in the years of the siege of Leningrad. 12 were the terrible almost 900 days of the siege of Leningrad but people here was staying until the end never gave up never Okay, I'm walking all around the monument. It's huge. I'm not sure if you can feel it through the camera, 
But in real, it's huge. Okay, the monuments to the heroes of Leningrad, the defenders of the city in the days of the siege of Leningrad. Almost 900 days lasted the siege of Leningrad. And the sunset time officially begins. And now this is already the uh, stride road to Pulkova International Airport of St. Petersburg. So this live stream is coming to the end and I really hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it so much. Today you've got a 1950s monumental Stalinist architecture feel. In the nearest time, we will get back to Kupchino. Kupchino. That will be already 1960s film. 1916. Already absolutely post Stalinist era.
And I think now here is an ideal place to finish this live stream. My name is Sergey Baklakov. This is Baklakov Live here. I'm bringing the live streams to the whole new level. IRL in real live streams every day on uh, the widest variety of topics. History, culture, architecture, entertainment, weekends, food, music, events, concerts, whatever, whatever. So thank you for watching and see you later. Maybe even today. Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday night. Why not? So I will look at it. Thank you for watching. And thank you for all of your comments. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And after this live stream will over and will be available as just a video. Yeah. Uh, and a special thanks to all who switched to my new channel. Where uh, in the nearest time we have to hack YouTube. Okay. Um, traditional panorama in the end. See you, see you later. Courtney Page, Barry Breen, Great Gatsby, Javon Milia, David Elias, King Nero, hi to Brianna, Nightly Echoes, Brianna B, Courtney Page, Zenovia, Jai Lewis, thank you, friend, Brian Holland. Shirley Farthing, Neil McDonald. Yeah, comrades, see you, comrades. I hope you really enjoyed Moskovsky Prospect. Crystal, see you. MJ, Cajun Guy 1950. Jose Bodden. Yeah, bye for now. See you later. From Moskovsky Prospect, St. Petersburg, Russia with love.